Are you wondering what the solo cabins on Holland America ships are like? Stick around, I'll give you a little tour, and I'll tell you whether I think it's worth it or not. Hi, my name is John, and I'm a Canadian traveling this week in the Caribbean with Holland America on the new Staten Dam. I want to talk to you a little bit about what the solo cabins are like on this ship. I usually travel solo, or sometimes with a friend who would also prefer their own cabin space. And I like Holland America cruises, but they rarely offer deals on solo prices. So solo travelers are caught paying twice the price of individuals who share a cabin. A few of the newer Holland America ships have added cabins that are specifically solo cabins at the front of the ship on the first or the main deck. They are a little smaller in terms of square footage, but they do have a sea view window, and that makes them feel brighter and more open than the inside rooms. There's a very comfortable double bed that's pushed right up against the outside wall under the window. So there's not as much bed space required like in a room with a king bed or two twins. There's a desk, chair, TV, several electrical outlets, a couple of USB port outlets, lots of storage with decent sized closets, several shelves and drawers, a fridge, a safe, a corner unit with some glassware, and a bedside table with a couple of drawers. I usually travel with a carry-on suitcase only, and I slide my suitcase under the bed so it doesn't take up space in the closet. The bathroom is the same as the bathrooms on all the other cabins on this level, with a nice big shower, lots of hot water, the vanity and sink, mirror and toilet. There are about a dozen solo cabins, and they're located near the bow of the ship on the first floor. My cabin is just below the A on the Holland America sign that you can see on the outside of the ship. It's really pretty convenient being on that floor. First of all, I think that there's a little bit less sway when the seas are rough, so anybody who might have a tendency to motion sickness would probably find this is a better location. I'm also just under the hallway that goes into the world stage. So there's no noise from any cabin above, nor is there any disruption or noise that comes through from the world stage entertainment. I found the location actually to be pretty convenient. I never have trouble getting on the elevator because we're at the first floor on the way heading up. And it's only one floor up to go to all the entertainment, both in the world stage or, or any of the music that's happening all evening along the music walk. So are these cabins a good deal? Well, if you're traveling solo and you'd like an ocean view cabin, you can save three or four hundred dollars by taking the solo cabin, which is just a little bit smaller, but as I've said, really quite adequate. Inside cabins, on the other hand, are still less expensive. If you're looking on sites like vacation to go you may find that the inside cabins have a hundred percent markup for solo travelers, but some of the ocean view cabins have much less of a markup. This is because some of these ships, like the Rotterdam, the New Staten Dam, and the New Amsterdam, have these solo cabins that they offer at somewhat of a discount to solar travelers. There's lots of room in this cabin for one person to cruise comfortably. I've really been quite satisfied and I would certainly book it again if the price was right. I hope that you found this useful and that it helps you if you're really wondering what kind of room you're going to get if you book a solo cabin on Holland America. Happy cruising.